Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2017 Mod Showcase with me, Kim Sawyer. Hope you guys are all well and enjoying your day, whatever you're up to. And I'm bringing you this nice little placeable um, mod showcase. And it's nice, hopefully, it'll be a nice, quick, easy one for you guys to do. Um, this is the uh, Barrel Factory. It's version 1 of this mod and it's made by the name of the snake so if you're watching this at a later date and the modder has come along and updated it you could have possibly changed the aspects and the way that this um, mod works and the functionality of this mod so please bear that in mind if you are watching this at a later date of course the uh, links for this will be in the description down below so you guys and girls can feel free to download and have a peruse and have a go on this mod for yourself the only thing I will say um, well two things I will say to you um, first of all most important you're gonna need the um, sawmill script uh, you can find it in the hub uh, anything that uses the old generic Maru script should work you can find that in your hub uh, on a mod hub um, so you can download and have a go of that yourself um, if you haven't got that already, you will need that first of all before you can use this mod. Uh, the second thing is, if I show you where it is in the, uh, I'll get the boring bit out of the way first, um, which is um, pricing and everything. So it's not big, massive value to it. Um, it costs fifteen thousand, whatever currency you're working in, um, to purchase, and ten pounds, what, well, whatever, ten pounds or whatever currency you're working in per day in maintenance um, uh, in the pack you also get the sales point as well um, which looks like it takes mixed ration as well or some sort of I forget what that symbol is for but barrels obviously um, that costs one pound or whatever whatever currency you're working in uh, to purchase and it doesn't cost you anything in maintenance to uh, keep per day so but anyway, the other thing I will say, if I just quickly grab one and try and place it, as you can see, it needs a good flat bit of land for it to be put on. As you can see, it quite easily uh, glitches into the hillside, so bear that in mind. If you put it on an uneven bit of land, you might find it looks a bit odd or it doesn't quite fit flush, so do bear that in mind. Of course, we're on my now mod testing facility which is um, Goldcrest from the old let's plays and everything nothing's changed on here except from just now use it for playing off screen if I don't want to play on any of my other maps or whatever play on here instead but anyway uh, I'll show you how this all works uh, go through the details of it it's you know pretty good details um, looks like the generic sort of like buildings that you can get on the game a few extra things being thrown in, like you've got a sawmill here, and da da da. It's not animated, unfortunately, but maybe the model will come along later on and change that. Um, it's got bits and bobs just kicking around. And there's the display point there, so if I bring that up, um, you will need board pallets. Like I say, you'll need the board pallets from the uh, board pallet factory or the saw sawmill poten uh, potentially. Um, to get it to run. So, let's, without further ado, let me engage super strength. Pick this up, very heavy. Don't try this at home, kids. Use the front loader. Doesn't do it back any good. Boink, throw it into there, which is the load point. Just for demonstration purposes, I'll just grab two of these from up the other farm to show you guys how this works zoink and as you can see it's, they're all in so that's your loading point just there and your pickup point will be just round here um, by the display right let's fast forward time um, quickly while that's doing that let's show you the sales point quickly and as I'm coming through as you can see once it's in going you can get the, the sound of noise producing and eventually all once the pallet's full should tell you when the pallet's full 
Yeah, that's now full. It should shut off. Let's slow down time. I'll quickly show you the sales point before I go and throw it over. As you see, this is a sales point. You get this nice lady assistant here waiting for you. Maybe you'll be able to sweet talk her and say, look, you know, give me a bit more extra money for those barrels, please. You know, if I'll take you out for a pint or something. But anyway, so, oh, yeah, heavy. Oh, pick it up. Take it over. Zoink. And you should see it slowly disappear and the money slowly go up. And you get, it does vary because I did try this off screen to see how this works. And initially I got uh, 7,000, well, just over 7,500. But at the moment this is at 7,359. But I got 7,000. Well, 7, uh, 666 one I tried this off screen just to see if it all works and everything um, so it can vary from obviously hour to hour day to day so do please bear that in mind but that more or less concludes the mod showcase like I said all you'll need is the um, the sawmill for this to go and your mortise and a bit of flatland and you're good to go um, it's just another way of getting some extra income on your farm if you've got the sawmill already in place. But anyways, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this mod showcase. If you did, um, please feel free to share um, and like. And uh, if you didn't like this, um, then please feel free to dislike. But please let me know in the descriptions or in the comments down below, so I can improve in the future. Um, and if you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this again, guys and girls, feel free to share. It helps me out a lot and I don't mind you sharing. And if you're new to my channel, you'll see future episodes of any future, well, I'll say future mod showcases and anything else that I'm working on. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.